Hey guys, welcome to another Lifestar EMS training video. This is going to be my first video in a series of MedMath calculation videos I'm going to do. Today we're going to talk about mics per kilo per minute, and then we'll do three more. One will be uh, mics per minute without weight-based, and then we'll do fluid over time is a really easy one. And then the last one will be units per kilogram per hour like we use with heparin. So let's jump right into this one. This one again is gonna be mics per kilo per minute. So here's the basic calculation that we use for this. And we're gonna break this into several steps that we're gonna use. And the very first step is gonna to be to figure out our concentration. Because all these other numbers that are on the top of the line here, those are really easy. It's mics per kilo per minute. So you can probably see that that goes in a rational order. Micrograms is the 30 kilograms is the 70 60 would be is going to represent the minute and then divided by our concentration so we'll kind of get lost in this calculation if we try to do the concentration last so that's the very first thing you want to figure out so how do you figure out a concentration well usually when you look at a label it's already going to have the concentration on there but sometimes you'll run into this situation where it'll look like this it'll just have the milligrams and the amount of fluid that it's in. So what do you do then? Well, if you divide your drug by your fluid, so like in this instance, 400 divided by 250, it'll give you how many milligrams are in each milliliter. But what we want is always, in this calculation, is gonna be micrograms. So what we got here, 1.6, that's really uh, 1,600 micrograms. So let's try that with a different one. So again, flu, uh, drug divided by fluid is gonna be our concentration. So with this propofol, there's 500 milligrams and 50 mLs. So you divide that and then that gives you 10, but that's really gonna be 10,000 micrograms. So step two is going to be figure out the dose you're actually going to administer, because that's gonna be our first number up on top. And this is gonna be something you're either gonna to have to know very well or always consult a reference. Uh, it's dangerous to go by memory, so you always want to double check your doses. So that's the first step, or the second step is just to figure out what dose you're going to give. And then you have to figure out how much your patient actually weighs in kilograms. And most people know how to do this, but in case you're wondering, uh, however many pounds they weigh, divide that by 2.2, and that's going to give you your kilograms. So for instance, if you had a 220 pound patient, Divide that by 2.2, that patient is 100 kilograms. So the next step is gonna be multiply by 60, because remember it's mics per kilo per minute. And then that's going to give you a pretty large number. And so it's always smart to use a calculator when you're doing this, even if you could do the math in your head, always use a calculator and double check your doses. So the fifth step is just going to be to, to take that 126,000 and divide it by your concentration. And that's going to give you your milliliters per hour. So if you were to grab a calculator like I always do on my phone, this would be how that would look. Just know your mics you're going to administer. So mics times the kilos times the 60. That gives you that. And then divide by your concentration and that'll give you your milliliters per hour. It literally takes that much time. So this is how I remember it. It's how you say it. So when I tell you that, you know, we're going to give somebody a drug that's in mics per kilo per minute, that's exactly how the calculation is laid out. Mics per kilogram per minute and then of the drug. So that's the concentration down below. So at this point, I want you guys to pause the video and see if you can do these calculations on your own. So go ahead and pause the video and I'll check back in a second. Okay, so how did you guys do? So I'm gonna put the answers up on the board here. So if you guys haven't figured it out, last chance to pause it, but here's the answers. If you got all the answers right, very good job. You just learned a new calculation. If not, go back in the video and see where you might have went wrong. And so that's going to be the end of this first MedMath video. 
Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was useful. Remember to click subscribe and like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Infinite spirals our creation, we're on the tip of this